up guys, my name is Kavika. And I'm Kai, and in this video we're going to be teaching you how to dock tire. The first step of a dock start is finding the right dock. You want to make sure that your dock is long enough to run on, low enough to the water, and shallow enough for a foil. The second step to dock starting is to have the right foil. You want to have a foil that has good pump and glide. Today, we are riding the Conrad SC950. This is a mid to high aspect foil that has great pump and glide. I'm also riding the S290 stabilizer with a 75 centimeter mass. It also helps to have a smaller board when you're pumping. So the first step to the actual dock start is running with your foil. As you're running, you want to make sure that your foil is completely submerged in the water just barely. You want to run with your back facing the dock and your shoulders facing forward and make sure that they're open. As you're learning the dock start, one thing that helps a lot of people is as you're running with your board and picking up speed, transfer your hands to the top of your deck where you would stand normally and then jump. After you've gotten comfortable with running with your board, the next step is to actually jump on your board. The most important part about jumping on your board is to land with your back foot first. How I do this is by having my hands where my feet are, and taking my last step with my leading foot, and then jump with my back foot onto my board, and then follow with my front foot. What I then do is immediately apply back foot pressure to lift the board and foil up. dock start is pumping away. As soon as you have jumped on the board with both feet and applied back foot pressure, wait for the apex of your pump and then let your foil glide down and then repeat. Just keep in mind that your first pump is the most important pump. One common mistake about dock starting is not having your board high enough out of the water when you start. What happens is when you start jump on the board, your board will be too low to the water, and you'll hit the water and then fall. To fix this, make sure to have your board high enough out of the water so you have time to initiate your first pump before you hit the water. Now for some tips and tricks. The number one tip that helped me the most when I was learning is running fast. Running fast with your foil as you're jumping onto your board will help you initiate your pumping and maintain your speed. Another tip that really helps as you're learning is finding an undercut dog. An undercut dock will help a lot as you're running with your foil to make sure that you don't scratch it. Finally, the last tip that will help you learn is finding a dock with the corner. Finding a dock with the corner makes it a lot easier to learn because you don't have to worry about running back into the dock or hitting your board on 